If we saw a man beating his kids, we would physically intervene, perhaps harshly. How is trying to stop abortion different? Um, it may not be, um, but I, I don't think all things considered shooting abortionists accomplishes what you want to accomplish. And you've got to be careful here because people have done that. Not recently, but several times. And guys are sitting in jail right now who killed abortionists. Um, when I was involved in rescuing in the late 80s and early 90s for two or three years, and rescuing simply meant that uh, passively, you would sit down in front of an abortion clinic, a hundred of you, so that nobody could get in. So you're putting your body on the line. It's based on Proverbs, I forget the chapter, maybe 24, 11, I'm just, that's a wild guess, uh, where it says, when you see somebody being taken to the slaughter, rescue them. Um, and so we were called rescue. So you'd sit down and you just sit there. You, you wouldn't fight. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go tackle anybody. And, and they would haul you away to jail. You know, pick you up, take you to the buses, and carry you away. So we, we were doing that. We did it over and over again. I spent one night in jail, and most of the, most, they didn't want all these people in jail, so they'd just give them a ticket and send them home. Um, and now the philosophy behind that was something like this. this is, they're killing kids in there. They're killing kids. You, what are you going to do about it? And I was just gripped with the rescue movement that it seemed logically consistent. It's like this is saying, logically consistent to put you, yourself between the killer and the child. Um, and I think it was wise to say put yourself passively there because as soon as you take up violence, they're going to say you're doing the same thing the abortionists are doing and therefore you will never make any headway in this. What brought it all crashing down was that it proved to be impossible, at least here in the Twin Cities, to maintain the kind of humble, meek, lowly, lamb-like demeanor of suffering that would win the American conscience like the civil rights. I mean, the civil rights movement got traction and was sustained because the pictures of Bull Connor and fire hoses and dogs biting black people and mowing down children with fire hoses took the American conscience. We, that we will not do. But Martin Luther King and the black resistance movement were able to do the miraculous work of not fighting back. I mean, King was the key. If others had taken to the streets and done it the other way, we would not be where we are today because everybody would have risen up and made war and we would, we would just, it would be horrible. But King was able to maintain the control and the black church had a huge influence and, and, and the, the blacks had a, such a long experience of suffering as it was, they had learned how to do passive resistance and and, and when, when the hostilities broke out against them, the media caught it, bang, and the, phew, everything turned around. Well, that, that did not happen in the pro-life resistance because pro-life people got mouthy. They, they were always doing stuff and saying stuff that was ugly. And so that's what the, the media captured. They didn't, they didn't capture people who were meek and loving and kind being mistreated, they captured pro-life people mistreating. And so the whole thing fell apart. And so I haven't gone back there yet to that strategy because it seemed to be so counterproductive at the time. I don't know 
whether or not there should be more today. Maybe that maybe a time will come when the, the, the nation will be ready and hundreds of thousands of people will be uh, sitting around uh, Planned Parenthood. And there'll just be no turning back because the conscience of the culture will have turned. But um, I, th I think given the place that our culture is now, the attempt to do this, that is to violently restrain an abortionist, will backfire culturally. In that place, you're the one who'll go to jail, not him, and he'll just go in the next day, do the abortions, and it'll all be on TV, and you'll look like the jerk. And you, you might have done what your conscience says is right, but you won't have accomplished what you're out to do. Abortion remains a um, moral issue of such huge consequence uh, we will look back, I believe, in a hundred years and, I mean, our grandchildren will, and condemn us. Me. They'll condemn me. Why didn't you do more? Just like we look back now on all the complicit involvement with slavery. And uh, we think we're doing the best we can, but Probably not. We are, we are so incapable of mounting a, a full-blown conscientious resistance to the greatest evil in our culture that all of our strategizing to do political, educational, uh, crisis pregnancy, that will all look, I think, inadequate 100 years from now. Because they'll just say, we're killing babies.